No. I don't know how many people are here, but I think there's one person I see. I'm gonna wait for a couple more people to roll in, though. Yippee! We're we playing Dial Town today, I think. Dial Town's fun. I'm gonna try and figure out how to get chat on screen still. Still haven't been able to figure that out. Mm, thank you. Uh, I changed my PNG to update with the the my OC. I changed. I'm gonna my home my monitor a little. Um, I'm using OBS, yeah. Oh, you do? Could you <laughs> let me know how so I can put it on screen? Thank you. Hello. Just trying to get some stuff sorted. Oh, that's Style Town. Hang on. One second. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so loud. Be quiet. Hang on. I think you got a dox, don't you? I got the, the ad source tab. It's eight to one? That's that's wow. <laughs> Widgets. see a widget thing. It just says like window capture and then like, media stuff. See this is why I haven't figured it out yet because like I'll like look up tutorials and then hello and then it'll like show me stuff and then it won't be there for me for some reason. <laughs> The first selection is Application Audio Capture. Beta. <laughs> I would use Twitch Studio, but I can't have my PNG with Twitch Studio. Yeah, that's why I like, I don't know, it's weird. My OBS is like, crazy. And I wonder if it would it be possible to like, Hang on a sec. Would it be possible to show- it wouldn't, would it? Hang on. I'm trying to sh just show my screen. <laughs> um... Uh... 
Oh my goodness. No, don't show dial down. I don't want to do that. Well, I guess we're looking at this now. No, I need this one, I think. Yeah, here. Oh my. Okay. So, I clicked this plus. And this is what I have here. Okay. Because the setup I have right now is like I can look at chat, but then like nobody else can like see chat on the screen. Because I have like I have I just have chat and OBS on my monitor, so I can just kind of look up from it just in case. But no one else can see it. Media source. Um. Let's go like this, kind of like edit it. Oh no, that's that's looking for a file. Hang on. Whoa. Okay, it's yes. Yeah, it my my stream lab's like just updated today. Wait, what was that one? Could it be Okay. Um oh. Man, sure I, I sure do love when I can find how to do things. I just want chat. Please. This one? <sighs> this is terrible. I might as well change the stream name to fiddling with OBS until we get it to work. Um, bro. Maybe like game capture? No, that's just uh set maybe settings perhaps. I'm looking possibly everywhere I can. Um, no, <laughs> yeah, I might need to like switch to something, but I just don't know how to, I don't know how to use anything else but OBS because it's like the only thing I've used. I'll just Google it at like a later time. It's fine. Check can be hidden for another day. Yeah, I'll have to download the stream at some point. Oh. Hang on. Let's see. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I was this in person. I love Dialtown, it's so fun. Is the volume good or is it like too loud or quiet or something? 
So I can turn it up or down. Okay, I'll turn it up. Is that a bit better? It goes to... Scream at the child back. Assert your dominance. Well, ah, uh, did, did you scream at it back though? I can't remember if I. Okay. Let's. Okay, I'm gonna do one of the two routes that I haven't done yet, so. I'll say no for today. Let's do let's do Karen this time. I haven't done Karen before. Should I, should I be reading this out? I'm not good at streaming. <laughs> I'm gonna insult the dog. Let's do typewriter heads so we can get Karen. Enjoy. Hang on, I'm gonna make my, uh, this guy a little bit smaller so that way you can see the text. I'm miniature now. Just a little guy. <laughs> Enjoy having to use your own head to write smut fanfiction just to be able to afford the occasional glass of turnip water. Sounds kinky to be frank. Amazing. I've never wondered if it was possible to castrate a player before. Now, final question. Mm. We're going crazy this time. Hello. Oh my god, I can't spell. I'm an aneurysm. What? <laughs> okay. Carrier pigeon. I'll question the hound all I want. <laughs> Goodbye, direct doggo. Seems I'm alive again. Darn. I hate it when I do that. Hmm. My non-specific reproductive organs are firm and ripe. Must be getting ready to hatch. The time for reproduction is now. 
I just realized if no one here has ever seen or played Battletown before, this is gonna be terrifying for them. I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. <laughs> we must show them the ways. Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. <laughs> yes. I must go to the carnival. Okay, so basically, uh, this game is a. F this game is like a. It's like a dating simulator, but it's. It's like. Strange. Really strange. And you're basically just like this cryptid creature trying to get into a fun fair so that way you can lay your eggs because you're broke. Yeah, it is like a fever dream, actually. <laughs> it's like a fever dream, but you're also like on hallucinogenics. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close, yet so far. Must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile-high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator. Need lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, go for the main gate. Plan so crazy, it just might work. I love the silly little cryptid fella. It's so great. Hang on a second. Greetings, ticket buffoon. Hello? There we go. My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. Oh, what did I just do? Okay. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, sir? Nah, that's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fiended hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats. How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I had zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept to- oh, I did not mean to do that. I pressed it too fast. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Ah, shoot. I was so close to- I have many whimsical stories to tell him. What if we just hypnotize him? Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in the tent next to the playground at the park? Oh no, my cover has been blown. What cover was there before, though? Like, honestly. Look, sir, I'm only telling you this because your stench is going is gonna drive away customers if I let you lotter around here un- oh god, uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Valentine's Day? Isn't that for romantic people? Yeah, but- didn't you say that you have eggs to lay or some other, some, or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a mate of some kind. You're getting ready to lay eggs. <laughs> Does the sock under my mattress count? Okay, fuck it. I'm cutting the chase because I can only take about three more dialogue options to read before my head combusts. Well... <clears throat> Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. <laughs> love? What on God's green earth is that? Love is well. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream dates. Breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together, and go to the movies together, and feed cup popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more per year than you, and can act finally have a good night's sleep.
That sounds horrible. Who would ever subject themselves to that? Speaking of which, we have a promo- pro Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in like a parasite? Granted, it'd take a real bastard to mission acquired. Oh, god, fuck. Oh, what did I say there? I keep skipping past the dialogue by accident. Okay, uh, go do that. Must source, mate. Away from here. Guys, should I flirt with that ticket guy? Let's flirt with the ticket guy. Oh, <laughs> Do you think the police will let me in? Damn. Scuttle away. In shame. I wish Jerry was a dateable. Like, that would just be such a fun route. Hi! Chapter 1, the fun fair date. I would- I would pick- I want to do that. I want to date Pierre. Oh my gosh, you don't even understand, dude. Like, it's- it's- ugh. I love him. I love him so much. But I think it's someone's- I think it's because it's someone's, like, OC or self-insert, and they just weren't comfortable with it. He is so- funny. I have to settle. It's okay. I'll just. I'll have to. I just have to settle with Oliver or Randy. They're both good though. I'm so normal about him, bro. Ah, tent, sweet tent. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent. You know. Damn, I hate moving, even when necessary. Can't I just lay my eggs here? Yeah, Oliver was, like, the reason I picked up the term, like, swaggy. I... yeah, I love him. Keep in mind, this tent freely occupies a relatively unwatched patch of grass at Dialtown's local park. AKA, you are dangerously close to at least four swans at any given moment while in this squalid tent. Would your babies really be safe in here? Ah, shit, you're right. I hate it when you're right. <laughs> Dog, man. Yeah, that definitely. I <laughs> I love Oliver's way of speech. It's so... Ah, it's good. It's good. <sighs> Time to save. What the fuck was that? It is it's so yummy, like eating gummy worms. Um... I think it's uptown dial time. Oh, my water bottle. Ah. Uptown dial town. Home of everything. And everyone. Not cool enough to be in downtown dial town. So, what now? Um. Let's talk to God. Hobo of dial town, I summon thee. There he is. Yo. Hey, nice to meet ya, friendo. The name's Hound. You need something? Are you indeed a hobo? Well, yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleys and such, but being a hobo ain't my main gig. Yeah, thing is, I'm kinda like God and stuff. I recreated everything- I created everything around you right now, and farted out the cosm- Oh. Oops, I skipped it again. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. You look like a hobo. Those things aren't mutual exclusive, friendo. So if you're god, then how did you end up creating everything? You ever, like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box? only to find a new species evolved from the remains of your chicken pie curry from last month? 
this this world is my takeout box, and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon in gazing upon infinite possibility in disgust and awe. I just realized he had a sticky note on his head that says, Kick me, I'm God. Why did it take me that long to notice? Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Oh, I, I think I clicked the wrong button. Oh. I gotta pay child support to that witch I wasted years of my life with. Hello? What, the sock? I'm gonna lay me some eggs, actually. I'm heavily pregnant. Oh, hey. You one of those reptile fellows that I made a few million years ago or so ago? Not judging, just saying, fuck, you guys are weird. Good luck clunker the human race and whatnot, though. They'll never see it coming. Ciao. Let's skedaddle, fellas. Let's go straight to the bank. Yeah. Silence. It's my love quest. I must lay eggs. Find the love. Drink the milk of human kindness and all that jazz. You have like six nipples. Why not just extract your own milk or whatever? Nope. Wouldn't work. <laughs> Ugh. I'm like a dog. The milk of human kindness probably isn't meant to be the same color as jet fuel. <laughs> oh boy. You know what? Perhaps not. But is the consistency of said milk still nectar consistency? Right. Thanks. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, ring for a teller. Look! Look, it's Karen! Why is she looking at me like that? What's your issue? You're green! I had noticed! Oh wait. Guys, I'm green. <laughs> well, I'm sure we could be green together if you catch my trick. <laughs> Yeah, be good. I do not catch your drift, no. Please kindly explain what literally any of that means. Okay, fair game, you've got me. I just figured, <laughs> figured that what I said passes some sort of euphemism. I love Karen, she's so pretty, I don't wanna like, I wanna hug her. Because it sounds kinda like me. Wondrous, yes. Now, were you hoping to make a transaction, sir? Or... Uh... Are you taking by tonight by any chance? Taking by what, exactly? No, I meant, are you free tonight? <laughs> Am I? What is this? What are you asking? Can I help you? <laughs> Please, take me to the fun fair, my paper-turning mistress. Will she get mad? I don't want to be- like, I don't want to yell at her. <laughs> Firstly, never call me that again. Thanks. Secondly, what? I wanted to ask you out on a date. You're asking me out on a date? I don't understand. Well, it is Valentine's Day, Karen. I- I knew that. Is it really the 14th already? Real, the classic autism style. So say it's Ticket Jerry, yes. So what you're asking me out- What- So what? You're asking me out for Valentine's Day on some kind of date? I mean- Yeah? Well, I mean- yeah, I could let you take me out for Valentine's Day. Sure. 
But why are you asking me, of all people? <laughs> the bottom one is so harsh. Oh my god. Well, you're the first person to not stab me for asking. At least not literally. Oh, boy. That makes me feel wanted. Come on, that's not what I meant. Well, say what you meant. Don't beat around the bush. Surely you can see that I'm different. You have green skin, half a dozen nipples, and don't even get me started on whatever your head is crafted out of. Alright, alright, I get it, I get it. You do seem to be relatively comfortable around me, though. That's actually not all, not all that common. Pal, have you seen the kind of customers I get on a daily basis? The last three dudes before he came in were a Shiba Inu, a hobo, and a woman who had a dude in a- <laughs> I had to take a double take for a second. I've never done this route before, and that took me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lordy. Okay. <laughs> the last three dudes before you came in were a Shiba Inu, a hobo, and a woman who had a dude in a BDSM leather animal costume on a leash accompanying her. <laughs> Guess which one fist on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> you're weird, but you're not day <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I don't know if I want to guess which one pissed on the floor because I feel like all three of them are like equal possibilities, not gonna lie. Oh boy. I'm so in- I'm just like- Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I don't want this to like ruin something. Y'all know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting paid. Another? okay. I could just come back. I, that good thing I saved. See, that's that's why I saved because I knew I, I like kind of assumed it'd get me kicked out. But I just wanted to see what would happen. Let's go back and not piss on the floor this time. Don't worry, guys. I just wanted to see what, what her reaction would be. Well, I'm behind glass, so I can't really smell you. I probably smell green. You do, you do look like you smell weird, though. Granted, that's probably true. I do have a pungent musk following my presence at all times. See, the thing is, Dial Town's a weird place. Hell, the world's a weird place. The way I see it, since everyone's weird, maybe no one is. Plenty of harmless goofballs and weirdos who simply wind up in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? So no, I don't see you as a monster. Just as a cryptid who's actually kind of talking me into this somehow. I've got away with words. <laughs> Beat your chest in an ape-like dominant fashion. Uh, might be a cure for your boredom. Who said that I'm bored? Sorry, I just presume since, you know, you sit in the same spot talking about forms and paper all day every day. Doesn't sound particularly riveting. Well, I... Look, this is, an, this is a niche that needs to be filled. My enjoyment is completely irrelevant. That doesn't mean you shouldn't get to treat yourself, though. I don't know. It is Valentine's Day, Karen. 
Okay, fine. You're right. We can hang out later, I guess. Gnarly, yes! How does the fun fair suit you? I'd rather pretty much anywhere else, if I'm being honest. It's kind of really moist and loud. Like Max's apartment. It's fun! Quiet, dry, and sanitary places can be fun too, you know? I've never seen- I've, I've never seen a fun dentist's office. Okay, fun fair it is then, I guess. Alright then. Away we go. Away we don't go. My shift doesn't end for another couple of hours. My shift ends at 6 p.m. and it'll likely take me a good 30 minutes to reach the fun fair. Give or take, not counting traffic and potentially getting hit by a bus or like kidnapped. It looks like 6.30 p.m. for the sake of simplicity. Great snakes, that's hours away. What misfortune. What happens if I click Control S? Because there's... It's on the wall. So now I'm curious what it, what it means. Chat, if I click Control S, will it mess something up? Now I'm like genuinely curious. Great snakes, that's hours away. What was fortune? So does that mean I have to stand here for like hundreds of minutes? Well, no, because if my boss saw me letting you loiter here for that length of time, I get sacked. So you can wait for me wherever you want. Just not here. Hmm. That is quite the question. Where should you wait? Keeping in mind, Karen won't be off work for, another, for a good few hours. Hmm. That's a tricky one. I want- I need to draw Karen at some point. I really need to- I, I need, I'm trying to draw all of the datables. I've drawn, uh, Oliver and Randy so far. And then I'm gonna draw Karen and Bigfoot and then Norm. Also, what does the control S do? Does it actually do something? Or is it just there for like looks? Well I just realize that it's there now. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Well, maybe we should weigh up the... <laughs> Let's go... Uh... I wanna see if the control S does something, hang on. Okay, control S does nothing. Let's go. Do we want to go home or do we want to go see Ticket Jerry again? Should we pester the silly or should we go home? I'm not good at decisions. Make a decision for me, guys. Let's go see him. Alright, to that startled wretch of a man that you insist on portraying with your intimidating presence, I guess. I just love him. Look at him. T-I-C-K-E-T-J-E-R-R-Y. Gah, no, I... Where's my damn cannon repellent? I need to- Please, I implore you, vile daemon. I am tired and near death. Surely, there's another tired tur- What is that word? There's another tired tertiary sector worker somewhere in this hornet's nest of a town that you could bother even half as relentlessly as you have me. 
He's just such a silly little guy. I love his speech. He like talks in the most like drawn out long sentences and it's so funny. I love his vocabulary. Got a spectacular vernacular. <laughs> but Jerry <laughs> let me in or else he will know the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> but Jerry, what we have is special. Special in the same way as a particularly debilitating her name. <laughs> See what I mean? It's so like <laughs> He's got like the entire dictionary of grades in his brain, dude. Special in the same way a particularly de debilitating hernia would be, I suppose. <laughs> you ever think how hernia is like the female version of the name Henry? I think he like writes as he, I, I think he would like write in his free time, honestly. He seems, he seems like the kind of guy to do that. He would like write angst and then post it to AO3. Hey, any parent dumb enough to name their daughter, daughter Hernia is raising a future serial killer. <laughs> B. We have an existing name for fam Fable Henry's. It's Henrya. Close gob. Or else. Oh, close gob. I'm. Are you seriously threatening me for pointing out a name? <laughs> As if I could threaten you with your bitch glass force field in the way. Nonsense. I could never hurt you, Jerry. Winky face. Semicolon. Well, right bracket. You flirt like I'd imagine Mothman would. I hope you know that. He adopts high maintenance pets. I didn't know that. That's so. That's so cute, though. I bet he has like twelve birds. You flirt like I'd imagine Mothman would. I hope you know that. Just with less screeching and fewer dead mice falling from your gullet, that is. Twelve German Shepherds? Yes. I think he would just have, like... I think he would have, like, a hairless cat. I want a hairless cat. I want my own bingus, you know? I can screech that enhance the experience for you, T. It would not. Colon. Right bracket. Stop looking at me like that. Colon. Dash. Right bracket. <laughs> Look, sir. This is simple. Find someone to take you here, and voila! You can exploit a festive loophole gate entry. This is out of my hands. My boss has me legally registered as a houseplant and has watering me and has watering me down on his tax forms as a work expense. I wouldn't be on a lower rung here. What if I told you that I do have someone to take me to, to, What if I told you that I do have someone to take me? Well, then I'd most just mostly just respond with vocal disbelief since you well waited this late in the conversation to tell me that. I am pretty trod. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna like have a seizure. I'm pretty troglodious, yes. Okay, so where's your date then? <laughs> it's not too late to cancel. <laughs> Should you wish to take me? Winky face. Nope, not happening. So your date better be here sharpish. Well, she said she'd arrive from about 6 p 6.30 p.m., give or take. It's barely past noon. What are you doing here? Go. Shoo. No can do, hombre. We'll just, like, move the entire ticket booth when I'm gone or something just as absurd. If I could move the ticket booth in its entirety, sir, then... What would stop you from simply running through the gaping ticket booth sized hole that'd be left in our parameters defenses? Fairground snipers? Huh. You mind if I take that idea down for the next time I see my boss? I do mind. I hate being shot at. 
Look, just go home, get some rest, maybe freshen up for your date. Or rather, in what I'd imagine to be a typical case for you, come back even stickier than you are now. The fun fair will still be open here when you get back. I will still be here when you get back. <laughs> and heck, maybe your date will be too. Come on, sir. It's Valentine's Day for me too. Surely, I deserve it as well. Aw, oh, should I stay? Hello. Welcome. Sh should I stay and be like... More of a nuisance? I am a tree, rooted to the spot. Go fuck yourself, Jerry. Phone goddammit. Yeah, how dare he st say I'm sticky. Well, here I am. 6.30, on the dot, like I- Karen! Oh, sneeze. Hey, you been here long? It has been here for fucking hours, Karen. <laughs> Customer after customer paid themselves in while this monster stood there for hours, lingering ominously in the background. Sneeze. Didn't I say that I'd be arriving at this exact time? I also like Jerry. That's why I want to stay with him for like six hours. <laughs> Karen, it remembered and simply refused to leave. <laughs> Fuck you, Jerry. Don't ever use logic when speaking to me. <laughs> Please, Karen, I beseech you. Take this monster off my hands, or at least give me permission to call the police. <laughs> you don't have the balls, gerbil. If you had, you would have done that hours ago. <laughs> Jeez, this is quite the encounter. I'm sickened, but curious. I kind of want to pay us both in, just so I can see what will what'll happen next. Karen, you're not... Surely two dollars worth the price of admission. To the fun fair, and for a front row seat for... Whatever kind of antics it could possibly have in store for us. Oh, baby. Karen. It's just using you for a free ticket. You know, on account of the whole two-for-one ticket dealio we've got going on today. Really? So, the only shred of affection that I've been shown in the last five years is just... I'm afraid so. It just wants to pay you in, like a printer clutching parasite, so it can lay its eggs in a damp, deep, damp ditch deeper than the Funfair's untamed grounds. Lies. Ironically, it's self a lie. Oh, I get it. I thought you were actually serious for a moment there. Heavy sweating. No, Karen, I really mean it. It really is going to... I may have a bit of reputation of not de detecting sarcasm, but come on, Jerry. You think I'm enough of a fool to believe that sneeze lays eggs? Karen, I really mean it. It's akin to... It's akin to Sasquatch. An oily, moist, egg-laying Sasquatch. What a, a ridiculous proposal, I- <clears throat> Two tickets for me and my date, please, Jerry. Jerry is a snitch. I still love him, though. Oh, thank the phone lord. Look, it's a wild story, I know, but- Hell, why do I even care? This is out of my hands now. In you two go, I guess. Enjoy the- Yeah. Wait, egg what now? I didn't- I didn't mean to click that one. I wanted to read the options, but I didn't. Hmm. Alright, here we are. You've got me where you wanted me. So, what's next? Well, we are in a fun fair. We could always go on a ride or two. Something that'll shift the- it Something fun. 
Well, alright, what do you have in mind? I know, just the ride. How about that crab crawl looking thing that screams deafening metal in Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> too loud. I don't do loud. Then why'd you ask me to the fun fair of all places? The fun fair was your. Surely you can think of something at least somewhat quieter than El Crabo. What about the coaster over there? The funeral planner, I think it's called. <laughs> what a chance! Why not? You know why it's called the funeral planner? Don't you? Not as such, no. Oh. Oh. Okay, that filled in some gaps, yeah. Alright, so you want something that isn't flashy, loud, or dangerous? Ideally, yes. Gee, is that really whittles down our selection, doesn't it? Well, how about the carousel? What is that? I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Isn't it French? In terms you understand, horse wheel. Oh, the horsey wheel. Why do you just say that? We're going on the horsey wheel. Man, I haven't seen one of these babies in a long time. Do you like horses, then? Like, kinda do, yeah. Why do you- why do you? <laughs> well, they make fine jerky. They're alright, I guess. Right. They kinda stand around, making dumb noises with their mouth all day. She's gonna compare me to horse, isn't she? Well, that galloping around and eating hay, oats, and other sort of grains. What more can you ask for from a creature such as horse? Right. Don't take this the wrong way, but you are awful at dating. Thanks. I like to think so too. Now onto the horsey go round we get. Say, what's this? What do you mean? Why are their heads like that? <coughs> oh, well, it must be an antique. <clears throat> I don't understand. Why isn't this horse you just have an engine for a head? How else can I properly gauge the pe the bait? <laughs> How else can I properly gauge the beast's horsepower? <laughs> like I said, it's clearly an antique. The carousel must have been produced before the worldwide dial-up. <coughs> it wasn't just us who had that done to us, you know. Animals too. Really? <coughs> yep. Originally, mechanical and organic entities were distinct. So the whole world was altered? But surely not everyone must be man must have been manually changed. Surely someone must have been missed, right? Don't tell me this is another one of your clown theories again. Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's just get onto the horsey wheel. Horsey wheel. Let's go. Let's go. We're on the we're on the carousel. We're on the horsey go round. Yeah, this is nice. <clears throat> you know, I really don't think anything particularly fruitful would come from tonight, but I think I feel. Oh. Oh no, my gut. The horse romance has shooketh my gut. Pardon? <clears throat> it's egg time. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, Karen, it's been real. But I must now flee to a nearby ditch. Sneeze, wait. <clears throat> Man, I wish we could choose not to, like, just run away. That's so mean. I feel so bad. Here. This hole will do. Do you really think abandoning caring like that was fair? No, no, I do not. <laughs> it wasn't my choice. On the horsey go round, we were about to kiss. <laughs> Shut. 
pregnancy waits for no one. Not for Karen. Not for me. Not even the horse wheel. Alright, alright. Fine, fine. Speaking of pregnancy, waiting for no one. When do you- The egg laying noise. Well, there you are. Your younglings. Don't call them that. Your repugnant, scaly younglings lying in a damp ditch on the cold, hard ground. Do you feel pride, Sneeze? Fatherly pride? I feel very little. I would not die for them. They're green. I feel very little, as per usual. Ah, a bit of postnatal depression. Oh, they meant little as in light. Oh, emotionally. On the plus side, don't octopuses, like, die after your birth? It's Octopi, Jerry. Jerry. Octopi narrator. Again, I have no idea what species you are, but you might actually be closer to death than you presume previously assumed. Hurrah. I'll never die. Repeatedly stating that over and over again, like a putin- like a pu- Petulant toddler won't make it true, you know. Oh, wait. Speaking of inevitable visits from the Reaper, aren't you a little exposed? Oh god, oh fuck the predators! The topsoil. There we go, now I can... Sneeze! There you are. Oh, hey Karen. So sorry about ditching you, I had to, uh... Give birth, buy you a hot dog? Run off aimlessly into the night? Uh... Give birth? Seriously? You should believe that you- The nest, Karen. D dig for the eggs, the life needs the topsoil. Let me get this straight. You want me to dig into the cold hard earth with my bare hands? Check whether or not you've laid eggs whilst on our date? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Exactly like what you just said. I can't believe you just brought up on me like this, during an intimate moment, no less. What else should I have expected? I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, Karen. I'm just so feral. Karen, I need a favor. You could not be asking to wear full time. But you've piqued my curiosity, so reveal what you want, knowing that I'll most, almost certainly say no. I need a lift home. Oh, no. I never get my car seat dry again after you touch it. You look like you create sticky spots and stains by sitting down. Karen, please, my jelly legs. Right. Yeah, well, I'm off. This is dreadful. Thank you. I freaking ruined it. <laughs> Don't mention it, Karen. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't tell me I lost the root or something. Morning, Sneeze. Up and at him. Why am I still alive? Uh, I've reproduced already. Surely that's plenty. I thought I'd just shrivel up and die by now. Purpose fulfilled. End of story. Oh, come on. What are you? A spider or an octopus? You don't have the- you don't have the legs! Bipedal pouting. Oh no, you don't have to hook that easy. After all, what of your eggs when they hatch? Who will feed them? What about predators? Nobody was there for me when I hatched. They can fend for themselves. I'm content to raise some omelets. <laughs> they may just be the most repugnant thing you've- that- that may just be the most repug- I can't speak English right now, oh my god. That may just be the most repugnant thing you've said. Yes. Yeah. They're your kids, bro. Your green, scaly, unborn children. Actually, that's a good point. Never heard of a decent omelette being green. Maybe they'd had- maybe they'd be better hard-boiled? <clears throat> so, you're awake now. Unfortunately, yes. So, what now? Hmm. 
I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam I am. Yeah, see, I'm not good at coming up with idea ideas. At least ideas that don't involve that don't involve pregnant groaning, foraging, and scurrying. You did not have to say that. And with my young having a <laughs> Stop, bro. And with my young having evacuated my swollen, lying gut, I guess that leaves scurrying and foraging on the table? Look, I said this to you before and I'll say it again. Scurrying and foraging are fine as occasional hobbies, but come on. They don't quite fill the gaps that have normally been consumed by shit like child rearing or having a job. You expect me to work? Foraging is a perfectly productive activity. It really isn't. Sure it is. Foraging, scavenging, hunting, gathering. You are literally a fucking hunter-gatherer. I don't like that tone. You're a trog... You're a trog... How do I say that? Look, even deer and wildebeests and shit tend to have shit get up, get up and do. I'm sure you have something to do with an aimless scurrying or scratching the ground like a peckish boar. Wait. Karen. I wonder what she's up to now. She's probably at work. She does live in a society as the rest of humanity does. The rest of humanity? You think I'm human? Alright. That's the society thing. Yeah. It's everywhere. These days. Hmm. Guess I'll be my way to the bank then. We get to see Karen again. I hope I can apologize. After all, banking is one of the four pillars of the civilized world. Alongside Drinky Production, the President Factory, and Bigfoot Hunt film crews. It's always Bigfoot with you, isn't it? They will never find Bigfoot using stealth and detect deceit. They must come to him openly. And honor the ape man undiscovered. Look, I'm tired. You certain you want to find Karen? I can't imagine she'll be too pleased after the last time you saw her. It'll be fine. She works in a public sector. I'm sure she receives want and cruelty daily. It's neither nice nor fair, but it's what is was expected. Away we go. Chapter two. So so done. We're doing the yippee. <laughs> All right. So ah. Sneeze. Why are you here? <laughs> hey, babe. I'm as I say, Nebraska. Back. Well, as I say, at work. Look, I'm at work. So, unless you have any important business with D. Oh, Dalton City Bank today, sir. I don't understand, Karen. I thought what we had was special. Special? You dished me during the date. And according to you, it was to lay eggs in a nearby ditch. Oh no. It's root diverging. Uh. I need to apologize, sir. I feel really, really bad. I'm dreadfully sorry, Karen. I was just so heavily pregnant. Look, this is all very interesting, but... <clears throat> I'm at work, and there's a vast line developing behind you. Oh, yikes. I see what you mean. Look, you can just leave and come back when it's less busy if you really want to have this conversation. I just can't have you occupying the space for long, this long without getting in trouble with my boss after all. <coughs> so, what'll it be?
<gasps> Another... <sighs> I feel like if I... I feel like... If I convince her to leave work, she'll get like fired, and I don't want her to get fired because of me. I'm just gonna, I'll just come back later. All right, all right. If I gotta come back, I'll be back. Fantastic. See you when you inevitably decide to return. <clears throat> I hope I picked the right choice. Uh, no. All right, you've successfully done it. You've placed one foot for the other and displayed yourself outside the confines of the bank. <clears throat> <clears throat> when go? When go back? I don't know. Whenever less busy is. So I just wait? Seems it. I'm sure you won't be letting, waiting for long. Hang on a second. Yeah, I was about to say. Have I been loitering here for 24 fucking hours? 25 continuous hours by my count, yeah. I. This must have been some kind of mistake. On her part or yours? Well, hers. I hope. Should I go back in? I feel like telling you to get lost and making no effort to achieve you is kind of a big fuck no response to that question. At least on Karen's part. On the other hand, do you have anything else you feel like doing today? So back in I go? I must ring for Karen. Where? Where's the rope? See, that's really a good sign. Karen, you wench. Karen! I summon the bank car lot. Karen! What? Karen, the bell dangly boy, is, it is absent. I know, because I took it off to stop you ringing it excessively. <coughs> and yet... Karen, I don't understand. Am I dying? You're not dying. So much is just ban. What? Ah, the ban? I don't understand. See, the thing is, you ended up disappearing for like a whole day, and that gave me time to actually think. I realized that I really don't feel like dating a- No, 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 I- ah! Accidentally Neanderthal. So I just told- Told security to put on a rope. Gay babies who are not allowed on premises list. Note to self. Replace sketch with photo from mayor. Oh, dad, look, it's me. I gotta go back. I think I picked the wrong one. I really try not to serve certain difficult customers' lifetime bans. <clears throat> but if your relationship with Jerry is anything to go by, you definitely just keep coming back. <laughs> so is this goodbye then? Yes, goodbye. <sighs> I'm so- yeah, me too, I'm also very mad. Oh, cheer up, buddy. It's not all bad. Okay, so, like, fine. It is all very bad, yes. <clears throat> At least the whole exchange killed a few seconds, though, right? I am so fucking mad. Why? We've gone on exactly one, and only one day with Karen. You're the romantic equivalent of a free sample platter of deviled eggs. A green platter. Made from various skins and leathers just together. Oh. And your eggs smell like fragrant syrups and nectars. Besides, wasn't all this just to gain entry to the fun fair so you could unload your vile lime scale coated offspring? What do you feel she could possibly owe you? You don't understand. I think I I might love her. You louver lo lo Oh, that's a word. You louver her? No, I might love her. You know, tender feelings and shit. Like, you only hear about in chocolate and the more sensual motor oil commercials. Oh, I see. <laughs> A feeling, yes. I had no idea that you felt emotions other than craving, lust, and nectar? Nectar is an emotion? 
Well, you certainly seem to think it is. Speaking of... Aha! Me Nectar! <laughs> oh, sneeze. I have to insist you, don't do this. Fuck you, I do what I want. Nectar Supreme. Stop calling it that. If I want to think outside the box, this is how I'll do it. This won't end well. This will end well. Oh, I'm freaking zooted, dude. <laughs> Durr. This was such a poorly conceived plan. You were alerted to this prior to its execution. Silence, shout lobe. Hmm. Maybe I don't seem dedicated enough? Like I don't want her enough? Because I left and didn't demand she came she come with me? I gave up too easily. I mean, it also would be the six nipples thing or the egg lane. Silence. I need to think. Outside of the cast. I must astrally project the ideas from my brain to reality. Sneeze, this is already going as poorly as it could possibly go. <laughs> Please come in your pants and fall asleep before you really do serious damage to yourself. Silence, booming voice. Wait, I know. I need to make a grand gesture. But what? Oh god, please no. This is the- There is no longer any viable solution to the problem. You need to be contained. Oh great. <sighs> I feel like if I just guzzle many packs of batteries, I'll die. But if I rob the bank, I'm- I'll probably also die. Is there even- Is there even a remedy to this, dude? I think I'm too far gone, dude. Well... Oop, I don't want to be there. Come back. Okay, well, um... Should I go on- Guys, should I go along with this route, or should I go back and pick the other- the other option? Do I- do I- do I proceed with being absolutely stoned? Or do I go back and try and remedy this? Chat, I need an answer. Chat, answer. Can you do this wrong? Alright, let's- Let's, uh... Let's rob the bank as a display of bravado. What if? Hear me out. Uh-huh. I just fucking robbed the bank. Yeah, don't do that. Poppycock. It'll work. How? In what way? What are you hoping it'll happen? That Karen will be too afraid of you to say no? Nah, nah. It's nothing like that. She see that I'm, like, serious about this in John. So you're robbing your place of work? Yeah, exactly. Good man. This is a really poor idea. I urge you to- Oh, come on. Fading out of the screen while I'm really mature- So, you're really doing this, huh? I have to. Poor Karen. Well, I see a very little kit prepared. Can you discuss any of it? Nah. Sure. So, what's your strategy then? Strategy? What's your plan? I don't understand what you mean. See, this is already a worrying start. Okay, say so you just charge right into the bank. Now what? Hmm. Eh, I'll figure it out before I walk in. You sure you won't forget? Nah, nah, of course not, of course not. <laughs> Everybody on the ground, this is a robbery. I'm not even moving in. <laughs> Move even an inch and I'll squirt. Threatening gurgling. <sighs> Sir, this is already getting old, and this is only the first and hopefully last time you've attempted to hold the place up. Oh, come on, you must be at least slightly into this. You can't lie to me, Karen. Winky face. It's 30 minutes from closing time, sir, and I have to serve every customer standing patiently in line behind you before I can leave. 
So we can- can we hurry the robbery along, please? Aren't you afraid, like, at all? I'm afraid that you might end up hurting yourself somehow. I mean, security would probably break your neck if I called them on you. So you do care about me. Yeah, no, it's not quite that. More so that our janitor works really hard, you see. Security would totally sever your neck, causing your entire head to just plop off and spill green blood, magus, or swish it around inside your body onto our easily clean, polished floor of hardwood. Think of the stain. Nuh uh. Look, I really don't want to be here after closing. So can you please hurry this along? This is serious, Karen. Well, so is my relaxation. I have a microwave dinner at home that's just 6.5 hours from a plane re reaching its best buy date. How's that for serious? Oh shit, Karen, I had no idea I'm... Look, how about this? I give you like a hundred dollars to go in a doggy bag and then I'll like call the fuzz in the morning and have you arrested instantly. You get one hundred dollars, tell the six hours to go hand with it, and I get to go home with night tonight and eat my microwave dinner. And best of all, once you're in jail, I don't have to deal with this ever again. How's that for a deal? Kara, this is about more than just a hundred dollars. Karen, I love you. I'm doing all this to show that I'm serious. Instead of, like, buying me flowers or whatever. I figured this would be more memorable. In the same way a dumpster fire would be as a romantic gesture. Wait, you knew that was my plan? Please tell me you're using that sarcasm thing that I keep hearing so much about. Hi, sorry to interrupt. I couldn't help but notice that you're attempting to rob the place. It took me a moment, since you're so gosh darn awful at holding places up, evidently. You speak in an awfully blunt way for someone with a sharp weapon. Okay, I wish, I wish Shooty and Stabby were dateable. I wish Shooty and Stabby were dateable. I love Shooty and Stabby. I love them. I just. You speak in an awfully blunt way for someone with a short weapon in your hand. Hey, yo! <laughs> See, pal, you're clearly in the wrong career, because when I want to tell a joke, I tend to just start stabbing people. <laughs> oh, you're in the mob, aren't you? So real, shooting and stabbing, you're so, so, so underrated. Oh, you're in the mob, you're in the mob, aren't you? Sure am. Anyway, yeah, I was actually about to rob this place myself. But now that you're in the middle of it, I won't step on your toes. I'll just let you finish this train wreck all on your own. Besides, the cops showing up is an inevitably is it is an inevitability at this point, so I might as well just stand back and use this as a free market research. <laughs> Get lost, man. You end up all the crime in here. You're such a gentleman and a scholar, sir. Thank you. Alright then, pal. Good luck with jail and all. Call me at 1-800-MOB if you need a lawyer who's more crooked than my aim, which is, I assure you, very much crooked. It's all the hard drugs, you see. <laughs> okay, thank you. What a nice man. Aw, oh, man. Anyway, can you please- can you, like, please lift the shutter and stuff? I don't like the lack of options. I don't like the lack of options it's giving me. No. Drat. Thought that might work. Honestly, the most fascinating part of this oh so hilarious character study on Dial Town's re weird decision is the equipment you thought you needed for the robbery itself. I don't understand what you mean. I packed the essentials. Alright, did you organize a getaway driver? Well, I did leave a large stray dog outside. Took me a while to find one large enough to fit both of us onto its back. The one the street the one that the street washers lured away a few minutes ago with some raw meat. It Oh no. 
I forget French. Uh, a two doggy. Grew up in a choice of banana, which I don't even know why you choose a banana of all things. It's kind of gun shaped. I figured you wouldn't notice from the distance you are away. From less than five feet away, behind a mere single pane of bulletproof glass. Yeah, see, when you say it out loud, <laughs> the banana is also peeled. Well, yeah, in case I got hungry. Bananas are objectively a fine source of potassium. Right, yes. I see you're also wearing a shirt this time, and boy, is it fitting. Thank you. I found it in the trash. And it came with a hole over one of your nipples, no less. Actually, I added that myself. Show a bit of skin and a wee bit of sex appeal, you know? That false mustache is also quite inspired, too. But of course, obscures very little. Ah, shit. I forgot I was wearing this. I completely gave myself away. I could have gone detective. Rookie mistake. To be clear, it wasn't so much that you forgot you were wearing the stash, but rather your glistening slime-hued skin and stitched together skinhead. The sunglass didn't help you an awful lot either. Well, maybe I just don't like eye contact. Neither of us have eyes. Right, yeah. Ah, shit, I guess the game was rigged from the start then. Yeah. Plus, the police should be here any moment. Wait, what? Yeah. I pressed the silent notify police button as soon as you stormed in. So give me a something, Karen. All right, where is it? Right over there, officer. Please drag it off properly. My micro dinner, thanks you. All right, kid. Lower the banana and surrender, and we can get this over with. There's so many route diverging choices in this one. This is a really hard route. Oh my god. I want to save so many times. I already saved like three, like five times. I ain't surrendering. Oh, do not do this. What if I do do it? I'm already. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Execute. Oh. Oh god. Oh, oh god, oh fuck. They didn't done- they done shot me. Oh, I get it. That's my surname. That's one of those pun things I've been hearing so much about. Karen! <laughs> I've shit myself and I'm dying. See, that's just unfortunate. Karen! 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 Okay, sneeze. Look, can you uh, not repeatedly wail my name using your dying breath like that? The CCTV cameras here do pick up sound, and if you keep screaming my name whilst you drift into the eternal goodnight, whilst also in those blood soaked shat in briefs, I may very well get my pay docked. Okay, thank you for, for informing me. I understand completely. death. Well, um. The ending where you got shot during a botched bank robbery, shit yourself and die. So, uh... Why don't we give that another go, you know? Let's just pretend that didn't happen, because I'm clearly very bad at making choices. <laughs> I was awfully scuffed. Um, this is the one I want to do. Yep. Okay, let's, uh... Let's try the orange one this time.
But Karen, what if we both left, like, together? What? You're asking me to just leave my job? Why on earth would I do that? Because you love me and I'm asking you to. And because you clearly want to have this conversation in the first place? Uh-huh. So, what makes you think I want to have this conversation? You could have called security at me from the get-go. But you didn't. I- I mean... Come on, Karen. It'd be so easy. Just pack all your shit and bail. Work be damned. Go feral with me. You know what? Fine. You're right. I do hate my job. I do hate handling other people's sweaty, green, spendable paper all day. Let's go! Let's go! I picked the right one! I picked the right one! Fine. Go wait outside. I'll follow you out. I'm right after I my boss I'm leaving my post. Yeah! We did it! Cowabunga! See you outside, girlfriend. Don't call me that. We kinda did it. We kinda did it, guys. Yeah! I didn't get shot this time! <laughs> Alrighty. Well, here we are. The great outdoors. Or rather, on the street, just outside Dialtown's favorite institution of suited money lenders. So how long do you think it'll take Karen to come out? No. So how long do you think it'll take Karen to come to out? Bullshit. Karen wears nary a suit. I hope she isn't too much longer. Do the white one. I don't know. If I was Karen, I just wouldn't come out. She wouldn't do that. Would she? Almost definitely. Maybe. Yes. Mayhaps? Shitballs. <gasps> Sorry, I probably kept you winning a good 60 seconds. Don't apologize. Good things are worth waiting for. So is vital surgery. Keep in mind. And vital surgery is hardly a trip to the fun fair. It can be if you put your mind to it. The survival odds are about the same anyway. You know, that's actually correct. Horrifying. Anyway, sorry for that minute wait, by the way. I had to hand in my resignation. Resig what now? Well, he told me to grab my things and bail, because I hated my job. So I did. Now, I'm no longer an employee of Dialtown City Bank. The so you know, what I meant was... I didn't mean to leave, leave your... Oops. Are you serious if they told me I, I quit my full-time job because of a communication error? Chomp on onion like an apple? Sure. <laughs> I have to do that one. Sure. Where'd you get the onion from? It's my cringe onion. I bite into it to relieve dramatic tension. I'm 100% more tense thanks to you doing that. Well, yeah, the onion doesn't erase tension, but merely passes it to another person. The onion did its job. Right, yes. Anyway, you should have typed up the resonation quick. Yeah. I had it practically rehearsed. This is the sort of thing I'd normally just fantasize about obsessively. Wanna see it? <laughs> I'd love to see you pass a warm sheet from your printer mouse semicolon right parentheses. Okay, see, that is the one thing you could have said to ensure that I don't share my resignation letter. Oh, come on, please. Alright, alright. But if you look like you're enjoying this too much, halfway through, I got uncomfortable. The page is sliding right back in. Short and sweet. I liked it. Thanks, I made it myself. Well, whatever the case is, I'm now unemployed and free to do whatever it was that you wanted to do today. Alright, so like, what was that anyway? Oh, r right? Damn it, sneeze, Claire just quit her job because she thought you had a plan for something fun to do for you together. What do? You need to improvise. 
If I could do that, I wouldn't have asked Karen back out at all. One idea is all you need. Just enough to buy you time. <laughs> so, where are we going and what are we doing? I, uh... Tent. Tent? My tent. Away, go now, to tent. Oh dear. We're going to tent with Karen. Alas, my tent. Welcome to Casa de la Mi. Casa la Ca Welcome to Casa de la Mi, Karen. It, uh. It certainly smells indescribable. But not unpleasant, right? Oh, incredibly unpleasant. Like I'm being soaked by an unfamiliar reptilian's pre-digested enzymes. Forgive me if this comes off as rude, but I have you ever cleaned this tent? Me? What do I look like? A workhorse? I've never seen a green horse, and I've seen a lot of horses. Sorry, continue. Well, I used to get the kids from the local player and help me clean, help clean me lair. Before I got arrested for child abduction, that is. And yet, here you are, still out amongst the well-adjusted citizens of society. But I didn't abduct those kids, it was all a... They followed me willingly when I pranced off playing a dashing kazoo solo. The jovial music clouded their judgement they followed me off of their own accord. My state-appointed lawyer managed to get those charges dismissed. Uh-huh. Then I, uh, got startled and kind of sprayed all over the jury. Bad move, by the way. I, or so I was told after. Yeah, generally not a good look. So the judge charged me with eight accounts of child labor law violations. Now I can't legally get too close to kids because I'm just a feral and Trump and Trump and entrepreneur. Such is the life of Sneeze. Okay, since leaving the bank, I've learned that you live in a damp, biohazardous tent and you've blatantly spat in the face of child labor laws. <laughs> That's a really rude way of saying I'm a free spirit who's great with kids. <laughs> great at working them to the bone, maybe. I'm this... this close to leaving. No, wait. I haven't shown you my knickknacks. Alright then, let's get this out of the way. These are my favorite scissors. I use them for miscellaneous cutting and dicing. Is that... It looks like blood on the blades. It's strawberry jam. I also use this baby for making sandwiches. Why don't I use a knife? The courts deem me unsafe for an exposed blade of my own. Right. Well, that's a can of worms I simply refuse to open. You got any you got any other you got any other bad shadows to show me? I sure do. <laughs> this is Scott the Squash. Did you paint the face into a butternut squash? Nah, I can't pre paint it. Would you like some Scott lore? Scott lore? Yeah, Scott lore. Sure. I mean, well, now I'm enthralled. So this is Scott, the all-knowing and all-hating squash. He knows everything and hates all of it. Mood. Right. Please don't touch him. I'm a simple squash-fearing man. Well, he's the most terrifying vegetable I may have ever seen to date. I'm glad we're unified on this topic. This is an unholy entity. You thought of calling for an exorcist? With my typewriter head? <coughs> oh, right. I don't know. Write a letter? Do I look fully literate? Never hurts to learn. And practically domesticate myself? Hard pass. Besides, I'm sure attempting to exorcise the tent would just anger the squash. Somehow, I believe that... You don't seem to be enjoying yourself. No. 
See, this is all very amusing, but now the squash is giving off ominous malevolent vibes. It doesn't like it doesn't want me here. Hmm, perhaps we should have left this place alone. <laughs> can we maybe ditch ditch the squash and continue this discussion at another location? Okay, good point. We can go somewhere else. <laughs> like? Well, we could always go to. My place is off the table. What? Don't ask. Just make another suggestion, please. How about the- How about the zoo? Zoo! 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 There we go! It's been ages since I've been there. Oh, right. Me too. Not as a civilian, anyway. <laughs> Did you work there? I was one of the acts. What? Were you one of the exhibits? I- C Come on, let's just go, eh? Well, here we are, Karen. Man, it's been years since I've been here. Do they still have animals here? Last I heard. Splendid, that's the best thing about zoos. Now, let us... It's Theodore Russellboat, adventurer. Oh ho, what's this? Oh no, fuck, oh god, not you. I'm sorry, Sneeze. Do you know him? Sneeze, you feral bastard. My phone god, it's been months. How goes you? The Aurora Russell Belt. My former captor and arch nemesis. Am I to take all this as a confirmation that we're going ahead with the Sneeze came from the zoo arc? It is, it is what it is, Carbo. It is what it is. Sneeze, come home. I can offer you the luxury hay pile. No. I'm a free man now, Theo. I'm a person. Don't be daft. This is your home, Sneeze. You belong here, Monsieur. I do not. I belong in my tent and at an undisclosed location. And that location is the park, is it not? Who, who told... Why? I saw you emerge from your tent last time I visited the park. I stroll its foliage abundant grounds occasionally. For all the sorts of fancy vermin contained here, we have nary a duck nor swan forcing me outside a parameter to merely observe them. And nary a you, too. Come home, son. Boy, this would have been a. Hush now, woman. Knees, you must be contained, studied, and dissected. Hang on, just a moment. Hush now, woman. Oh, now, don't be hysterical. It's just a... I'm not letting anyone dissect my boyfriend, except for, like, maybe myself, if this day doesn't get substantially better. Let's go, let's go! Aw, oh, thanks, Kurt. Wait. I didn't mean a literal dissection, my dear. Just a figurative one. Promptly followed by a literal dissection. Should have aforementioned that a death is feral. To identify the source of this special peculiarity. <laughs> Leave my boyfriend alone, safari creep. It's mine. Alright, but you should change your mind. But should you change your mind, come to me before visiting the pound. <laughs> I like the pound. I can offer you ten dollars for dropping it off here. And there's an extra five dollars in it for you if you can knock it out with cough syrup beforehand. <coughs> It'd make the transition that much less violent. Pass. Oops, I did not mean to go in there. Hard pass. I don't like Thururor. I hate him. I hope he trips and falls and stubs his toe. <clears throat> Come on, Sneeze. Let's go look at some flunky animals. You think this place has any horses? Well, no. Only the... Uh, whoops. But I have the next best thing. Behold, the immortal striped horse. They're hardly immortal. 
No, not even slightly. But they do have stripes. Horsey. I mean, yeah. Say, do horses and zebras both have engines for heads? Yeah, but zebras have striped engines. That's it? That's kind of lazy. The ring... The ring bolt. Oh my gosh, this was play on the word Bible. The ring bolt says that phone goal is hungover when you created the zebra. Here, hence, stripe horse. Yeah, but are the stripes the only difference? That is the definition of a zebra, yes. Whack. Oh wait, don't zebras have off-road engines actually? They do? Why is that? Well, the African savannah tends to not have many roads, so I guess they'd have to be off-roaders. Ah, yes. To the next animal. Yes. I refuse to count them as such. <laughs> Why not? This thing can't even fly. What's the point of being a non-flying bird? It's just a giant screeching cotton ball with an elongated shovel head and a large muscular taloned legs. <laughs> so you aren't into talents? We dare besmirch the double shovel-headed ostrich. <laughs> oh please, what's this gonna do? Find a hole in the ground to stick his head in? I wish I could do that. Hey, I'm sure you could. You have- You got claws, right? It's not the same, Karen. Alright. Alright, I'm getting tired of these kooky critters. We can pass one more enclosure on the way back, and then I'm done. <laughs> well, we can't pass the gorilla enclosure. And why not? Unfinished business. Well, the area to the right is blocked off because of the tiger escape. So, you want to just leave without seeing a third critter? Wait a moment, is that... I think my favorite exhibit is on its way right now. <gasps> Behold! My elongated, blotchy coated maiden! I'm sorry? That's a giraffe. Isn't she beautiful, Karen? She's long and weird looking. Besides, how do you know it's a she? <laughs> oh, it's a mystery. I mean, it's not like I lived at the zoo or anything. Y you and Theodore actually told me that you did. Is this some kind of wind up? Some sort of sick. It's giraffe time, Karen. Hey, yeah, girl. Don't listen to that nasty woman. You're beautiful as you are. Fuck yeah, that's the good news. No. No. I'm not letting this this, this long-necked bitch steal you away from me. Relax, Karen. Giraffe. Girlfriend. You can have both. The holy rainbow says so. Not if I have anything to say about it. Not if I have anything to say about giraffe poly follow like me. I believe you have a choice to make. Come on, Karen, you ultimatum issuing wench. Don't make me It's me or the giraffe. I uh Well of course I pick you, Karen. I ain't choosing no giraffe. I don't even like giraffes. Then say it. it makes it extremely difficult, Karen. Sneeze. <laughs> oh, alright, alright. I choose you, Karen, and hereby dis discard my big titty giraffe GF fantasy. Now, was that so hard? You will always be my dreams, long furry maiden. What was that? Nothing. Well, a change of venue in order then. Well, what's your place like? Oh, it's. No, I, I don't think. <laughs> what, you think I'll spray up the place? I mean, yeah. Now I'm thinking you might, but it's not like that. I- Come on, sneeze. Well, where else could we go? Movie theater? Noisy. People eating loudly everywhere. Pass. Back to my tent? Unless it somehow followed us here, that accursed squash should still be there. So definitely not. The bank? That's your best idea? Fine, where do you want to suggest? <laughs> I- Do you want to end the date then? 
No, I want to keep going, but I... Fine, I guess we can go back to mine. But, nah, it'll be easier if we talk about it back at mine. This fruit was so nice. Alright, so... Here we are, I guess. <laughs> My, a doorway. How scandalous. <laughs> I can see that your fears are being here. Wasn't, we're not founded. Pal, this isn't even close to why I... Look, there's no point in giving the band-aid any longer, I guess. Behold. Alright, happy now? Yep, this is my place. Go ahead, wallow in how secretly abnormal I am. <laughs> you seem to enjoy horses. I seem to, yes. Say, so, can I ask you a question? Is it horse related? A bit, yeah. Then, alright, go ahead. Get it over with. So why do you work so hard in hiding this, hiding this part of yourself from the world? Karen, the horse enthusiast, works at a finance job that she displays all day every day. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it now? Most were not sentences don't, to be fair. Har har. <laughs> you know what I meant. Imagine a good hardworking typewriter. Who's got her shit figured out? Walking into the bank and seeing an obviously bored printer behind the counter, <coughs> counter playing with horse figurines. Do you think any budding romance goes from that encounter? Do you think people like that get promoted? Do you think that aforementioned typewriter would want to ask the real me out for a coffee? Well, I did. Yeah, well, they're... they're not. Wait. Do you see me as a lesser person, Karen? No, not at all. <laughs> not now. Did you? Look, you're great. I think quitting my job to spend the day with you says more than sappy words ever could right now. And I want to hug her so bad. Let, let me hug her. I would like you a whole lot to have done that. You did hate your job, to be fair. Okay, I was itching for us to quit my job, so I die spontaneously on the job, fine. <laughs> but I was also tremendously unhappy. <clears throat> I know how it feels to live on a continuous loop. Those aren't so bad. Sometimes some things are worth doing more j than once. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, but it's when I get home that I get to be myself. I can't let myself get too attracted to weird customers or strange whimsical ideas that I'm when I'm out of this apartment. It's not proper. Or rather, I couldn't, I suppose, since I did just leave the job. Don't you find it all exhausting, though? Constantly censoring yourself just to appeal to a snooty majority? I'll tell you what's exhausting. Doing the same dead end job daily for a boss who hasn't given me a raise in eight years. Gross. Was it a counter? Yes, all the time. I'll read like a fanfiction and it'll be like so well written, but it's just so awkward. Like, I feel you there. Was that a counter argument? You just proved my point. That's why I feel I'm playing this game sometimes, honestly. It's such a good game, but then like some of the stuff is just. Ugh. Okay, what point was that? That being normal is bad? No such thing as normal, Carrie. You said so yourself. My point was, why try to be something you're not? You said it yourself. You weren't even going anywhere. Well, nobody's ever gonna want to date me if I... Am I not good enough for you? You sure, you sure told a giraffe you that you're not a fan of Paul... Paul... Oh my god. Paul, look at me too. Well, nobody's ever gonna want to date me if I... Okay, maybe have a point. 
Maybe I don't want to know that as someone who's fallen in love with a person that isn't really me. Alright, you win. Society is stupid. Yeah! I knew it! I knew Greville was just domesticated rubble. The most accommodating of rock fragments. Okay, okay. But be happy and weird is hardly an entire lifestyle. It is for me, Karen. I have an apartment, a home. I have rent to pay. May I suggest... I'm not moving into your tent, no. Darn, that complicates things. Do you have savings? Yeah, I have a ton of savings. Taken from the wages from my near minimum wage job that I constantly also use to purchase food, power, running water, and a roof over my ink turning head weekly. <coughs> I don't know. You seem to have a lot of weird horse art for someone who doesn't have, have money. Are you a tax sheet, Karen? No judgment, because I pay zero taxes, but like. I do indeed pay taxes. Don't be silly. I didn't buy a single one of these paintings. But you you found all these in the dumpster? <coughs> no, I. Wait, are you a thief? A scoundrel? Have you been looting, Karen? No, I printed them myself. You made these on your own? Well, canvases are cheap. And I need something to keep me sane when I'm not handling grubby green paper thing or drinking cheap wine. I don't understand. How? Well, my head prints ink in the shape of images. But they're so horse like. Just like the ones on the horse you go around, except real. Photographic memory. Well, no, it's not just that. Good visualization skills, I guess. I'm still at picturing things I've seen already, but vivid alien changes are my forte as of late, hence the funky coloration coloration. You can do all this in your head? And you were working for a near minimum wage for eight years? Well, that's life. Plenty of folks who are more qualified slash skilled than me have worse lives. You have you have to take what's given to you. That's a horrible life philosophy. You have untapped talent. You think mediocrity is all you deserve? It's not a case of what you deserve and what you don't. It's about what you get. Karen. You have to take your happiness into your own hands. What, and you think you're happy? Living in a tent at the park, drifting around like a plastic bag? Well, duh. No gods, no masters, no taxes. Karen, this art may be, may be weird, sure, but it's gotta have an audience somewhere. The same goes for you, too. Yeah, well, who on earth would spend actual hard-earned cash on such a strange, whimsical product? Do you- Why should you get up to my face? Okay. Do you like having enough money to pay your rent, Karen? It's one of my special interests, yes. Then you've got to try something. Plus, do you have any, any better ideas? Oh, god damn it. We must go somewhere and- We must go- We must go where any self-respecting, undiscovered artist would. The street corner. We're gonna sell our- sell our art. Oh, thank you for the follow. Come on, Sneeze, let's just go home. Nonsense, my- oh my gosh, my voice. <coughs> <coughs> Nonsense, my ink turning maiden. We've only been here for an hour. During which only one person stopped to gaze at the canvas and wistfully asked if we knew a good horse dentist. Thank you. I have been saying hydrated. It's just talking a lot. I don't do it often. My voice isn't trained. <laughs> In fairness, you somehow did. I hate that I did. Yes. Plus, that dude did seem nice. He attacked you with a towel with a trowel when you asked him. I keep. I asked him how he was. He said, "How I am is my business." In fairness, I'm a literal monster. You tend to forget that. Oh, come on. You're not a- So, how much longer do you- 
It's him. Love him. What do you say? Hey, hey, catch only for your son. Spare. Oh hell, Randy! You're already making doggles the doggles dinner of this. I love Randy. I love him. Hey, hey, you two look like you have more than 30 cents to your names. Do you mind showing some of that wealth of poor old Randy? Sorry, bum. We're also panhandling. We ha just happen to have a talent that we can offer to the world in exchange for the, the meager amount of money that, it that we require. I want the red- I wanted the Randy plushie so bad, but I didn't have enough money, and now it's sold out. Yeah. I want to turn him into bread. I want to bake him in the oven. I want to throw him against the wall like a baseball. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. <laughs> How does one obtain of these talent things? Usually through years of dedication and hard work. It can't be found in your average back alley dumpster then. Nope, believe me, I've looked. Ah, crumbs. <laughs> well, but back to the slums I go then. No, no, don't leave, don't leave. I love you. <laughs> no. So you don't want to buy this painting then? What? With what money? I'm begging for thirty cents. They can afford four dollars. <laughs> uh huh. Uh. Sneeze. <laughs> hey, you stop that. If you want to talk dirty, call the phone sex hotline so we can at least get four cents per minute for the pleasure. Pardon, pardon the pun. No, that's fine. I'm, I'm broke too, so like... Scram, you smelly. No, I don't want to call him smelly. Alright, can do. Please don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt him. You know, you really should be so mean for the last fortune. I wasn't mean! Yeah, you wanted to talk. You called him a bum. Right, that's what he is. You were the one who referred him as a smelly beggar. You brought this adjective to territory, not me. Well, he is smelly and pathetic. Just how I like him. I'm poverty stricken, but you don't see me shamefully begging on my crown. When you're begging for literally anyone to take you to the fun fair yesterday, I had nothing to lose but my pride. Right. Eh, what's going on over here? We're trying to sell the sports painting without success. Cool, cool. One question though. Say, is that a horse? No, you dumb bitch. It's clearly, clearly a baguette. I just said- Wait. Are you day drinking? This one. I like this one. Hey, you too, green one. Say, are you free to- It's mine. Back off. Aw, oh, bummer. I'm gonna ask you to the Dallas Town Art Gallery Expo tonight. They're having some expo night, and there's gonna be like art and shit. <gasps> we can go to the, 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 the expo. Are you say an art expo in the art gallery? Wait, did you just say art? Be gone, drunkard. Right. Cool. Cool. Anyway, I hang on. Is that a force on that there? I'm gonna beat the, the, the pulp away. Shoo. Right on, right on. Scram. What a... Well, someone sure has a jealous spark, don't they? That's okay, I hate her too. Shut up. Aha, that means you care about me. You loser with your feelings. No, I... Let's just drop it, okay? On an unrelated note. Should we go? We should go to the art expo. Why on earth would we go there? 
We're trying to sell this painting, not steal another painting to sell. Because then we'd be back at square one with two unsold horse paintings. No, I mean, we should pattern those hipster art snobs. After all, after all, the Conrad Rebel has failed us. We should have mugged them. We should have taken their money. So, that's it then? <laughs> Unless you have any other die ideas. Nope, no ideas. To the gallery, go. Alright then, follow me. I know exactly where it is. Let's go. We're going to the art expo. Society. Well, as it turned out, I had no clue where this place was. But regardless, here we are. In only two hours, no less. Wow, look at all this painting. There's just spaghetti. These many art. Look at all this. Really? Are you high right now? I'm gonna flirt with her. Only on you. Sorry, I'm just not in the I'm not, not in the mood to sneeze. This place. See, I feel like in any other sphere, an increment of human feces with all this with all with this is what ail society scrolled the side will be rightfully spurned. They say the definition of modern art is that it evokes the same powerful feelings as classic art does. But you can no longer discern why. Well, in that case, that Mussolini per portrait made out of pasta captioned Il Douche truly is art because, man, that thing made me feel a whole wave of agony. But it's just spaghetti. I like this, the pasta one, that's my favorite. How do you think we can get your work displayed here? I don't know. Maybe we have to book an exhibit. And that's only if they like my nonsensical riffraff. Pure no. Let's just rip down the worst painting and put yours up. Nobody will ever know. And if they did notice, they'd probably thank us. I don't think that's how it works. You telling me you don't want to rip it'll do straight from the wall down from the wall? You know I love that more than that, but I don't want you to I mean, I don't want me getting in ha, you do care. Shut up. Shut up. I love her. Ma'am, are you having a problem? And like, they're there again. It's them again. I understand that pieces of ill douche can produce such complex emotions, but please, keep your emotions to yourself or I have to. Hang on a moment. You're the drunk from outside. <laughs> I am? Yeah. Are you the creator here? Oh. Yeah, I am. Right. Oh, so that's why you're drinking. Because of the expo function. You're celebrating. What expo? The one you told us about earlier? Oh, that. No, no. You misunderstand. I'm simply an alcoholic. I don't... Imagine you had to view Il Duce several times a day. Every day. I understand, I understand it completely now. Honestly... It's commendable that you're not, like, on heroin by now. Not on work nights, sis. So, like, can I help you? Can you put my friend's painting up on the wall, please? Sorry, the wall's full of this shit. If I remove anything, I'll get, like, sued for censoring magnum opuses. Opi? Opera? Such as... A statue of Winston Churchill made out of mashed potato that says, What is a king to an obese tree against the dirt? <laughs> Tret. Hullaboo. Fuck. This is truly a vital place. Say, what's the deal with this expo anyway? Why is any of this a thing? Well, the famous satire book. Satirical artist Philip Mor Morigami modeled a new work, and it's going to be unveiled here any minute now. The name of that piece is Greg. Is it considered any good? No idea, since nobody's allowed to see it yet. 
It should be noted that shortly after completing it, Morigami threw himself off the bridge of a bridge shouting, I have brought shame to my people on the way down and somehow barely survived the jump. So, it's probably something. People have been waiting months to see what his ultimate and possibly final masterpiece is. Huh, I guess it might be a pretty good piece then. Oh no, poor lord, oh, oh lord no. You, sir, have not yet seen Greg. If it's so bad, then why make it? Was it an accident? Art is not meant to be good. It's meant to be art. All poetry should rhyme and or be outlawed. Fuck art. That's a relatable sentence, friend. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, Greg is being unveiled in a bit. And with every earth snow, but the state is here and to see its birth. Right, I guess the exhibit's well guarded then. And to find it, we need to. Nah, just the door. Off, just off the side, actually. It's closed till it hits 10 pm, though. Oh, I see, I see. In that case, I guess the key of the room will be hidden in the. Oh, no. The door's not locked at all. I trust everyone here at the peak. This is an interesting development. Karen? Also somewhere that isn't through that one top secret exhibit door. Okay, see, if you were about to trespass into the Greg of those confines, I'd be really upset. But since you just said that you're not, that's completely fine. Enjoy, you two. Now, if you'll excuse me, the knowledge of what's behind that door isn't going to drag itself away. Come on, Karen, the coast is clear. To Greg we go. Are you sure you want to do this? Don't you want to see Karen? Don't you want to see Greg, Karen? Yeah, we can just wait a few minutes until the exhibit opens, like everyone else is doing, and spend minutes amongst, amongst and spend minutes more amongst this mind-numbing, pretentious hogwash. Well, we could leave and come back, right? And enter the crowded exhibit, the noisy crowded exhibit. So. Much was either sneaking with you illegally or just simply not get up on whatever the hell this culture could be. Essentially, yeah, that's your exact choice. Okay, fuck it. Let's just do this quickly. Besides, I don't want to spend too long in that room with how accursed the whole exhibit sounds. Oh, come on, I'm sure it could be that. What am I witnessing? Guys? Are you seeing the shit, Robotnik? Oh. Oh no, this is... The cactus, the, the vapid commentary. The pretentiousness. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Sneeze, are you? Karen. I can't. It's garish, it's foul, it's... Greg. I can't let this evil be unleashed on the world. I can't let Greg be unleashed into un unsuspecting public. I must contain it. No. Destroy it. Sneeze, you can't just... Greg is priceless. So is the face on your face. So is the look on your face right now, Shug. Cha cha cha! I still got it. Fuck it. You know what? I've officially checked out. I'm not putting up a fight. I'm just a witness at this point. I'm borderline accomplice, legally perhaps. Charles Dare Ring would have wanted this. His survival of the fittest. Evolution. By wiping out this weak satirical art piece, I strengthen the herd and achieve a passive stat boost from my Lord Charles de Just get it over with before someone- Wow, you really got it over with. What do, what do, what do, what do? Feral ape noise. We've gotta run or- Hold on.
There we go. It's like it's never even. Hey, the alarm went off. Who, who the move? Who moved the fucking? Oh, hey, is it a horse? It sure is. Yes, person. We're just meeting for the first time now. Hey, hey nice horsey. Wait, why did I come in here again? Say, what's all the? Oh, hey, horse painting. Nice. I guess the Morigami exhibit got moved. Oh, fuck Morigami. Is that a horse? Is this working? Why is this working? Don't question it, Karen. Just run with it. Why is there rubble over the room? Who cares? Just scoop it up and toss it in the trash can. Good. Keep it there. Huh. People seem to really like your horse painting. So what have they forgot about that origami asshole's art? We just sort of European, 81-year-old man's op magnum opus. Did we really feel good about ourselves? <laughs> I appeased Charles Darling's ghostly spirit. I might have saved all of humanity for all we know. Yeah, well... I just spoke to the curator. Oh? Well, as it turns out, Origami actually survived the jump after completing his painting, but only by the skin of his teeth. But, as of the last few hours, he's taken violently ill and is now back in hospital. Apparently, he sealed his p a piece of his immortal soul in the statue he destroyed, so he's quite comatose right now. Ooh. <laughs> We've done it. The world is safe from his bad art forevermore. But now the art gallery has no longer has a signature artist, and with how well my art has received him, the place of his conveniently missing exhibit, exhibit. Well, they were wondering if I wanted to be a replacement, effective immediately. <gasps> oh, that's... Karen, that's the best news we can possibly... You don't understand. The post isn't simply in Dial Town. They'll be sending me to far off places to reimagine and then print what I see. <gasps> they figure the more I see with my own mortal optical sensors, the better my art will be. But wait... You're going to leave me? Well, I would like for you to come with me. I mean, it's the least I could offer you with how you basically unwittingly set this pleasantly ending train wreck of events in motion. I would, but... What about my eggs? Well, you couldn't move the nest, could, could you? Right. So, my choice is to go back to working at the bank. So I can afford my rent and still get to see you. Or you can live this dead end town and enjoy the rest of your life. I don't want to. I mean, I can't just. <laughs> I'd miss you. Uh, uh, I'm gonna miss Karen too. Wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Oh, <coughs> Someone get the tissues. <laughs> Someone give me the. the. the Kleenex box. <laughs> the sponges. Yeah, well, there's nothing left for you here. You need to seek happiness. I want you to go because I know it'll change your life. <sighs> so this is it, then. Don't worry. Alright. I can't really... See, reading is not quite one of my... Relax, man. I make pictures, remember? You're good at reading hieroglyphics, right? I sure as fuck am. Who knows? I might even send you a handful of gravel with each note. Even the occasional handful of peanuts if you're a good boy. <laughs> I want peanuts. But Man, what if I'm naughty? Then you get to go to the naughty boy house. What is that? A cape for oh. Okay, that answered my question. But I can always just reroute my mail there instead, so no wor so worry not. Hold on, I got something for you. It's a heart, man. Who would have thought that the good ending for this ride would be so bittersweet? I'm gonna start crying. What? Wait, what? What route? Never mind. You see, as you see, this is the good ending because my life is better than ever before, don't you? Right. 
It's exactly that. Yeah. I love Karen. Oh. That was such a good route. Oh my goodness. The ending where it all works out for Karen. That was so good. Oh. I really liked that a lot. That was really nice. I love Karen. That's gotta be like one of my favorite roasts by far, actually. That's really good. That's really, really good. <sighs> oh, that was so good. Oh my god, I love that. Shit. Sure. <sighs> it was good. It was really good. I like that one. Hang on. I'm gonna... Oh, poo. I did not want to do that. Let's go back here. Um... Let's switch gears, because I wanted to do this as well. <laughs> we can play Friday Night Funkin' for a little... I'm not really good though, I'm like really bad. Um I can't remember if you can change your keybinds in this game. Uh goodness, it's been long. Oof, it's very laggy, I just forgot. Let's just go here. Oh crap. I forgot the controls completely. Is it WASD? It is, it is. Okay, I got this, I got this. Okay, never mind, it's still on me out, I gotta do this. I've committed to it. Hello? So let me click it. Hang on, I hate the control for this one. I'm opening, um... What's it? The modded one. I can't remember what it's called. Hang on. I gotta find it. I gotta get Psych Engine open. Cause regular Friday Night Funkin', I can't change the, um... The key buns, and I'm really not good with the WASD. I have to have it in the 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 DFJK formation. <laughs> How many people are still here? You know, I gotta I take a little peek, a little see here. Oh, I should probably change the <laughs> the stream info. Oops, I have playback. Okay, stream info has been updated. <sighs> the Sandy Parable is so good. I wish I had it. <sighs> That's 
it's cool. I think I've, I've watched like playthroughs of it, but I've never actually played it because I don't have it. I want to get it at some point though. Here we go. Here's all my stuff. Do I have mods? I can't remember if I do. I do not. That's fine. Yeah, I need to- oh, what do I do? No, let me out. I need to, um... Get money for it. <laughs> it's my birthday in like two days though, so... I'm excited for that. I want to do. I want to do. I want to do Lemon Demon. I like Lemon Demon. It's just a funky little guy, you know. I love this. This song is good. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> That was so bad. Oh my god. I missed like everything. I keep hitting them, but they don't hit. <sighs> My laptop was like, was like lagging so bad during that. Can't handle it. Listen to this one, because I'm a sucker for Tank Man. I love Tank Man so much. Oh, I forgot. You don't get um the story. I, I wanted the story mode with this one because I really like Tank Man. No, I don't want to. Uh -huh. I love Tank Man. Tank Man is my favorite. My favorite guy. Boring day. Let's see what you got. 
with I love this song. So funny. I love Tank Man. Tank Man's my 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 favorite little guy. That was really bad. That one wasn't very good, honestly. 60 misses, that was a lot. <laughs> So my 
Oh my gosh, I'm doing so bad. It's lagging so hard. Jesus. I love Pico. My laptop might explode. I'm at 69% accuracy, dude. Oh my god. Not anymore. I was. Is not good. I'm feeling so bad. Oh god. <laughs> I'm doing so bad on this one. 40 misses and I'm not even done this on. That beat goes so hard though, like... That's good, that was good, that was good. Let's do, let's do this one. I've never done this one before. At some point in time I'm gonna figure out how to download mods. Ah, a new fair maiden has come in search of true love. A serenade between gentlemen shall decide where her beautiful heart shall reside. Beep Bobop. Beep skull, beep poo poo fart. For some reason my keys weren't pressed, hang on. Like. Oh, I don't like this song, it's way too slow. I can't play slow songs, but it's just, it's just how it is, I guess. Let's do, let's do Pico. I like Pico. He's, he's, a, little, he's a little guy. I love his songs. I should have put it on hard mode. No, please don't like everything. Come on. My poor laptop's like on the brink of like becoming a bomb. so many things open just gonna like fresh
Ooh, it's faster this time, let's go. Hello? Let me hit the doubts. He sounds so silly, I love him. It's a good song. I like the the sound of it. I love the way their head bops. Whoa, it's green! That's sick, dude. He made it turn rainbow. I feel like this one might be one of the ones that I could play on hard and then not like die. That's a good one. I want this one on hard. I want to put this one on hard. So I haven't. Because it was slow and I want to see if it's faster on hard. I want to see what it's like on hard.
Here, I like this one better. It's a bit faster. I love the vocals in this one so much. Let's go. I do much better on like faster paced songs. I'm like really bad at slow ones. Cause like I wanna go fast. I wanna go speeding. I can't. And then I end up getting a really bad score because I wanna go faster. <laughs> Song goes hard. Ugh. Oh boy. It's like 11. I feel like I might hop off for a minute at the night. Where's my mouse? Where is it? It's pretty late. It's like 11. I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you for everyone who tuned into this stream. Um, I had a lot of fun. Uh, sorry I haven't been streaming super duper often. Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't been streaming super often. I've been like really, really busy, and I just haven't also got I haven't gotten the motivation to. But yeah, I got Dial Town like recently ish, and so I've been planning to stream that, and so I did. Um, next stream I'm gonna try and do if I ever. <laughs> Whenever that is, that is. Um, I'm gonna try and get through the Bigfoot route, and then maybe after that we can do chapter two or three or whatever. But yeah, um, thank you so much for everyone who tuned in. Uh, have a good night or day, everybody. Uh, yeah, see ya.